Well, good morning, everyone. Let's take our Bibles to Romans chapter number 16, verse number 20 for promise number 268. And you know what? Just before we get into the promise this morning, I just want you to recognize that, wow, we've been doing these videos since May of 2020. And uh, so that's a long time. And so that's a lot of videos. And I hope that they've been a great help to you. In fact, if they have been a great help to you, I would encourage you to shout out to us uh, so that we know that we should continue to do these videos. Every year, I kind of do an evaluation during the summertime of, of the use of my time for the year coming up, the season. And I always like to know if this is something that has been a benefit to you or an encouragement to you, because if it has, we'll continue to do them. Uh, they don't take very long to do, although that time does accumulate over time. And so, again, just let us know if these videos are any kind of a help to you uh, by just commenting on one of the videos uh, that you see over the next several days. And so with that said, let's get to promise number 268. And this is an interesting promise because most of it's in the future. And we will not experience it until God does the great reset called the rapture and then then the judgments and and then all of the things that are promised will have their complete uh, accomplishment uh, then. But we can have small victories and small moments like this as we walk in obedience to the Lord. We get to enjoy this on a more regular basis. So let me give you the promise. The promise is that God will soon crush the evil one under his feet or under our feet. And so someday we're going to get that opportunity uh, to walk in total freedom and the enemy will put, be put completely down. And that's powerful. Listen to what it says in Romans 16, verse number 20. It says, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. And so <clears throat> there's that day where we're going to walk out into absolute freedom. Now, obviously, we get that freedom, uh, at least in the smallest version of it, as we have victories here. Then the next stage of that is when we pass into the next life uh, at the end of our life here on this earth. But the ultimate is going to happen later on. And like I said, this is an interesting promise uh, that we wish could we could enjoy the completeness of it right here, right now, all at once. I mean, that's what we want. Um, but I, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm tired of fighting uh, the enemy. And I'm, I'm tired of seeing people that I love fall for his destructive and wicked ways. Somehow they just fall into it. And, and the hardest part of that is we love these people and we want them uh, to know Christ like we know Christ. And we want them to have uh, an eternity with him. We do not want them to fall for it, but they do. And that's, that's the most heartbreaking part of it. It's not so much about us. Even the apostle Paul says, I wish that I could throw myself, so to speak, in the way of, of their destruction and just take it all myself, but we can't. And so people have to make that choice for themselves or for themselves. And so uh, I, we wish the promise was right here, right now. The cool part about the promise is, though, just remember this, that we can enjoy victories every day as we wait for the total fulfillment of this promise. As we grow more devoted to the Lord faithfully, a part of his work, we begin to see how this promise can grow uh, and, and really uh, see the greatest victories that can be won. As obedience is is stated as as the biggest part of it. We need to obey the Lord. We need to actually grow in our faithfulness and, and really grow in our choosing the Lord as more important than our own pursuits. I mean, think about it. Most of the time, the reason why we're not seeing victories isn't because they're not available. We're not seeing victories because we don't have time to, to fight the fight that it takes to have them. We're too busy doing other things. We've got our lives jam-packed with the way we want it to be. And and so we don't get to see those victories, those small victories that remind us that the greater victory is coming. So let this be the reminder that as we walk in, in closer obedience to the Lord, we see the little victories that remind us of the bigger victory that is yet to come. Take that promise and run with it this week. Have a great day.